Injustice can only be seen in today's churches by asking the minority groups in the churches to share their stories of injustice. But not only to share their stories in, of injustice, but to, um, to discover how you can contribute to their struggle for um, for justice. And the contributions is not simply a matter of coming together with one another and even singing together and being hospitable to one another, um, but to help to empower them in their struggle for the same kinds of opportunities as you yourself have. Welcome the stranger for he is our brother and she is our sister of mother earth. Care for creation for all life is sacred and we are united by visions we burn. So often Syrophoenician women in those days and in our days, women and men, they're made invisible. Their stories don't get recorded in the ruling history. They're deep down. They are told, don't be seen and don't be heard. This woman comes up and just drops all pride, gathers all courage and says, I'm here. Hear me, see me. I ain't going nowhere. God calls us to create equitable spaces where all are at the table. The second, diversity is more than discrimination. It's more than us helping them. Being intercultural is for all of us, and it's about learning and celebrating the gifts we all bring. And finally, diversity is more than ethnicity or skin color. We are surrounded by diversity, and our task for all churches is to faithfully ask, what's our own culture? What cultures are in our community? and who are we reaching and who are we not? And then to ask, why and how can we become more inclusive? Now, this may be new work for some, but it need not be challenging or scary work. This is the work of the church. This is the work of God. This is the work of the kingdom. And yes, I've realized we probably won't see that kingdom in our lifetime, but our mandate as people of faith in our own lives, in our own communities, in our own congregations, is to always strive to model after this kingdom, to bring the kingdom a little closer, that glorious, beloved community that Dr. Martin Luther King spoke of, that he glimpsed from the mountaintop that one day shall reign on this earth, that kingdom where there is room for all to sit together at the table of brotherhood and sisterhood, united as one body, embraced in the everlasting love of our eternal God. That, my friends, is where we are going. Praise be to God. Yeah. Hey.